Hello everyone, and welcome back for what I think is going to be the final episode in our Dishonored playthrough of The Knife of Dunwall. So we finally managed to track down Delilah, kinda? I mean, we spoke to her through a statue, I guess? And we found out that she's actually like a witch, which might explain why the outsider is a little interested in this because he clearly has mystical abilities as well. I don't know how all this is gonna wrap up, but I'm excited to get in here and find out. And I do plan on going right into DLC number two right after this. So without any more delay, let's get right back in here, see how this first DLC is going to conclude. All right, welcome back everybody. I'm so excited to get to play some more of this. Uh, so we are back in Dowd's hideout, and it got me thinking, I wonder if this is going to, like, conclude where in the first game, remember how as Corvo we actually have an encounter with Dowd at his home base, and in my playthrough, luckily I found a way to spare him. I wonder if there's going to be a connection between the two of these right here, especially since we know that Corvo's events and these events have been kind of taking place parallel to one another. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to wrap up. But it does look like we're possibly getting near the end of this. So I got a feeling this is going to be the last episode. Doubt we've been attacked. Overseers are tearing the place apart. Looking for you. Oh. They're holding our remaining men and their leader is in your chambers as we speak. If we take him out and free our men, we can still drive the Overseers back. I want to know how the bastards found us in the first place. Okay, I didn't expect that. I do remember him asking that question. Captured assassin. Oh, captured assassin. Ah, that might be our character. Definitely gonna pick up. Oh, I can't pick those up because uh, I just left the shop. I think we're. I don't think I can pick up any of this. Meeting Dowd. Another stinking mouth. That's what my mother said. A mouth that need feeding for years on, then would sass her every time it opened. First words I can remember her saying that. When she'd drunk for so long that her eyes stopped working for good, drunk an ocean it seemed to me, I left the patched up shack we called home. But before heading out, I reminded her of all the times she'd put her hands on me or thrown something at my head. The night she'd rushed me like an ox and sent me down the back stairs. All the time she told me I was just another stinking mouth. Oh my gosh, that's, that's terrible. Last thing I heard was her cursing me from her bed, cursing the blind dark. Running with my pals, we had to stay sharp to make enough coin to keep from starving. Same story, across the aisles. Not the biggest kid, but sometimes the smartest and the meanest when we needed to be. The only way to stay off the back alley mattresses. Not desperate enough to go out on the drain flats with the mudlarks. So it was the knife for us, trying to catch the eye of the hatters or the boys from Bottle Street so they'd take us on. But when a dandy from Zircono stepped down from his polished coach and cracked my dear Deirdre's pretty head and left her twitching and dying in the muck and snapped off one of the wooden gazelles on top of the coach and drove the splintered end into his eyes as deep as it would go. Last I saw of Deirdre, she was still, eyes wide to the gray sky. But now I like to remember her with a smile, laughing from the void at the one-eyed dandy with the gazelle coming out of his head. Oh my goodness, what is this? No one would take me after that. The city watch made a full sweep once a week for months, trying to catch me. Even the Grand Guard came in from Karnaka down in Circonos. It seemed the dandy's daddy was the Duke of Circonos. I was too much trouble for my friends from the old neighborhood. Anyone who saw me tried to drive me away threw rocks to get me to leave, or tried to get a bag over my head, hungry for the reward. Even the gangs cursed me on sight. Billy's bad luck, they'd say. Hexed. She'll make it bad for all of us. Oh, Billy, I wonder if this is like the person that has been with us on this whole journey. I wonder if Dowd like took her in and that's why she's so close with him. You may think you know what loneliness is, but I can tell you, you don't. By the late in the month of harvest, I had a hate inside me that would have choked most. Then I met Dowd. It was early and dark morning, the only time I could go out. I saw them up ahead, three who looked like boys from the city watch, but dressed out of uniform. They were out for blood and coin, running some kind of murder rocket, waiting on a drunk barrister to stagger out of a bar at just the right time. I didn't see him at first, but in the flicker of an eyelid, he was on them. Out of the cold night air, he used a single blade, nothing else. 
and it only touched each of them once, at the left side of the throat. Their blood splattered and steamed on the cobbles. Quick movements, an occasional grunt, dark hair, and a glimpse of a long scar down his face. When it was over, he made for the rooftops. I'd never seen the like of it, so I followed. I could have stayed and looted the poor punks he left bleeding. Could have eaten for a month, most likely, but this seemed bigger, so I tried to stay up with him, tried to stay hidden without losing sight of him. All across Dunwall, into the wretched and ruined parts. He crossed into what I could tell was his territory. Hidden centuries and old masks. I thought I'd seen everything in the city, all the gangs, but this was something else. Clinging to the roof tiles and watching from behind chimneys, I watched, then followed him into an old building. Inside was all gloom. Rotted carpets and desks full of rat-eaten papers. Paintings ruined by the wet. There were weapons and practice dummies. Men lived here in secret, training with knives and crossbows. I lost track of him and continued to explore, but I was a fool. He'd known I was following him and came up from behind. When I saw him, I froze, waiting for him to speak. You followed me, found this place, and now you're not begging or running for your life. There's nowhere to run, I said, and I'm not very attached to it, to tell you the truth. He came close and looked me right in the eyes, trying to see some light inside that would tell him my story. You think you're already dead inside? But I'll give you something to live for. You'll fight for me and kill people like the ones who've hurt you. I just nodded, feeling relieved for the first time in months. Wow. Okay. Well, definitely explains why if this is Billy, which I'm assuming this is, uh, I that definitely explains a lot of why she's kind of like her his right hand man it almost seems like or woman in this case all right well can't use any of that stuff and not get in there let's uh yeah just some goodies there okay well there still is another ruin some charms and stuff we can get so it must must not be ending just yet. Ooh la la. What have we here? <laughs> Still love the fact you can like teleport straight up to uh, grab a hold of the chain. Now, I don't see anything there. Nothing to loot, that is. Now these people are like my friends, right? Nice. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Chances are very good. Or wait a minute, those are not. I don't. I don't know. I'm confused by if these are good guys or bad guys. I guess I'll find out here in a minute. Switch to sleep darts just in case. <laughs> just in case I need them. Let's walk in front of one. Give me the option to choke. Oh. Oop. Nope. Not a good guy. Oop. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to leave you here. We're going to hear it. The Deep Watchers. Before the cable snapped, there was nothing to see. Nothing to report. My lantern revealed only an endless depth below, and my mission felt like a bitter failure. I would have returned to the surface empty-handed, but now, at the cost of my life, I have made a profound discovery. So I write these words in the hope that someday my companions will recover this diving bell, which has become my tomb, and find this journal. Oh my. I want others to know what I have seen here, what extraordinary events have transpired. Frost is gathering on the inside of the thick portals, and my breath is misty. It has been six hours since this ill-fated adventure began and my calculations make it clear there is no more than an hour of good air remaining within the sphere. Oh, we kept hearing things about a sphere. Remember volume one, two, and three? I wonder if this will be related to that at all. What brought me here? Curiosity? A desire for glory? Financial gain? In all the months I spent designing this submersible, my mind had been fixated on the minute details, tempering the glass portals, the airflow from the surface to the sphere, the ingenious switch that would allow communication via bells 
with the ship above. I poured over every element in the design and construction of this apparatus. Why had I never considered that the creatures here might resent my intrusion? Oh no, that they would lash out at the iron monstrosity plunging deep into the unfathomable darkness. It happened in an instant. Out of the inky depths, the great fluke of a whale slid past my lantern, casting wide shadows into nothing. A second later, what had been a steady, controlled descent became a gut-churning tumble. The metal around me groaned, and I felt certain that the sphere would soon implode from the pressure. The spinning dizzied me, such that I could scarcely keep my feet. Then the savage collision whereupon my skull struck the deck, and I blacked out. A precious hour of my time was spit in that fitful sleep, and then I awoke. The sickening realization came upon me. Cut off untethered and completely removed from the world above with no chance of returning my goodness that that'd be a horrible way to go it wasn't too long ago that we had that issue it was all over the news where there was a submarine supposed to be like a almost like a i think a tourist attraction type thing where it was a submarine that was designed to go down and look at the titanic like regularly go down and back up and everything and it imploded and people didn't know what had happened at first and everything, but I'm having flashbacks to all of that reading this. Oh. I extinguished my lantern some time ago in order to conserve air, and only then did the ghostly radiance of the seafloor reach my eyes. Not the seafloor itself, but the tiny tentacle creatures that swarm over it. They create a carpet of soft colors twisting and moving in waves, as if they are singing with light. It is in this dim luminosity that I can see them, the leviathans, the great whales. Here in their domain, they move with grace and elegance, with purpose. They have approached the sphere repeatedly now, one almost touching the portal with, with her great eye. As I stare into the orb, it is clear to me that the thing is not mindlessly searching for prey. It is observing me. It is curious. One by one they approach and peer into my window. There is an unnerving sense of intelligence in that gaze, devoid of malevolence. For a time they examine me, my predicament, and allow themselves to drift off to trace the broken cable along the seafloor. I dreamt that one will take the cable in its great jaws and haul me back to the surface, but it is only a rapturous fantasy of the thinning atmosphere. I find myself gasping now while the creature moves away and watches from a distance. Their song is different here. I've heard it for years on the surface, but here it is soulful and moving. The natural philosopher in me is beginning to suspect that the song has notes that we cannot even detect, but here in the depths, they can be felt. I believe they are trying to comfort me while I die. First researcher, Douglas Church, ESS Keeper, Forward Exploration Vessel. Wow. What a way to go. Okay. What was that? Oh, uh, wrong button. There it is. And you. Woo. My goodness, what a bomb. I'm gonna leave you. Go ahead and take you out. And you. <laughs> I got a lot of these things, and I got a whole group of them down there. I can go pick back up. I'm just going to put every one of these guys to sleep. Okay. Before I forget. Go down here and get these. Now this is definitely looking familiar. This is this is like the path that I went when I was escaping as Corvo. I do remember that. Oh, I missed the ledge there. Dropped a lot further than I was expecting. Three darts. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously, that raises my uh, detection. <laughs> my detection amount uh, going this route, but uh, I didn't kill nobody. <laughs> oh. I wasn't sure if these were people that I could actually, cause you know, this is supposed to be my, my home place, but I know it said the overseers were here, but I, I didn't know if, uh, wow, there's a bunch of them there. Oh, and there's a music guy. I'm definitely gonna wanna hang on to, oh, and there's another one. Okay. Let me see Let's you. Just see what happens if I, get I don't think these guys have any loot on them. They got like bullets and look <laughs> at all the bodies and uh, grenades and stuff, but I can't use any of those. Okay. Nope, can't use that. What we got in here? 
More sleep dart? Oh, no more explosives. Okay. Oh, somebody's... Oh, I bet that's where a... Oh, captured assassin. Oh, did they catch Billy again? This one's done. There isn't any fight left in him. Well, where's... Dies. That might be worth Oh my gosh. How did I not hit you? I've shot that guy in the head like three times. Stand clear. Uh Oops. Gotcha. Where's my choke dust? I shot like five sleep darts at this guy. He totally should have been down. Chump. I mean, I know he had the music box, and I'm assuming they're saying that that's what it was hitting. I was aiming right at his head. There is no way I was missing all those. It's not Billy again, is it? My hands are bound. Untie me. Okay. I'll watch for your sign. Who are you? Just one of my buddies, I guess. Okay, well I just lost so many sleep darts. Totally unfair. What are these? Uh, and those are regular ones, figures. Okay, please log this superstitious artifact. It was found on one of Dowd's men in a training area within the Commerce Building. There should be a crate in the temporary headquarters for items of this nature. Deposit it there after you create a log entry for it. Overseer Marcus. Well, let's see what we got here, Overseer. Ah, now I get that one. Uh, I'm gonna leave it off for now. Maybe I'll pick it up later. Oh, thank goodness, it's more sleep darts. Maybe I'll pick it up a little later if I come across a faucet and actually need some mana. I've got so many vials that I really don't need to go looking for them. Okay. Oh, these windows. Okay, yeah, second floor. That's where I need to go. I was like, wait a second, the windows aren't open like they were when I came through earlier. <laughs> earlier meaning Cor Corvo. Oh, almost didn't even see you. Okay, oh. Oh, there's a couple guys here. Uh. Oop. Uh. Let's go over here. Put you down out of the way. Okay, get back up here. I'm back in full-blown choke them out mode. Oh my goodness, look how many people there are. Okay, he went away. Ooh, that was close. Yes, sir. The only problem is when you get close to that door, it starts doing story bits and I don't get to hear what it is because I'm still taking care of people. There you go. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Oh, he came through the door. I didn't expect that. He's whistling. Look at him looking over here. You think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Yes, of course. Oop. He turned around. Put them both to sleep. Ooh. I want to just toss them out the window, but I'm worried they'll die. <laughs> okay, I did it. I did it with one. Whoop. You did? Oh, yeah, he died. Dang it. <laughs> that might actually come back to haunt me. 
Oop, they're gone. Alright. Whew, okay. Now, I'm thinking... I don't know why we need to go outside the building when all the... the people appear to be here. What I'm wondering is like, isn't the isn't the guy in there the person I'm supposed to talk to? Somebody. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna get over here and wait for him to walk past me and shoot him with a dart again, like I did the other guy. Come out, and I'll go easy. And I gotta wait for his back to be turned, otherwise it won't work. Hurts. Oh. Yep, there's something here. Oh, just as he was going inside the door. Will our sisters in the oracular order make a pronouncement regarding the plague soon? I think he might be about to walk up the stairs. And just like when I came after Dow, that's where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have to be worried about that guy seeing me or not. I'm going to try to get above him first. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I hear a goodie. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. There are so many books here. Row protect. Okay, we read both of those. Uh, in the previous game, these two I'm not sure about. This, yeah, we read about the eradication of Black Sally, Empress Jasmine. Many of those who live through her reign will weep until the end of their lives. Yep, yep, we read that one. Uh, Chamber of Commerce. Yep, we read that one too. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know where that guy came from. I got lucky. He was just up there looking over the ledge. Is he coming down? Uh, nope. It don't look like he's coming down. Let's see if he turns around and starts head back to the left. Mm, he did. Got him. Oh, there's another captured assassin. Look sharp. What's going on there? Ooh, oh my goodness, look how many of them there are. Uh can I can this I can't just throw this. The wandering eyes that look hither and yon. Okay, and here. And then No no no. There you go. Oh. No, they shot him. Oh, you jerk. That was you. There you go. Oh, things are falling apart. And here I thought I was going to get this guy. That's what I get. I didn't have any sleep darts left, and I was like, okay, I'm going to drop down there. I'm going to throw the, um... Can I pick that or not? I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, stun them with the grenade. I'm going to drop down and throw the little tasers. Unfortunately, once I jumped down here, they suddenly became unstunned. I don't know what the logic is behind that, but that's kind of how that went down. 
Oh, this guy's already dead. Hmm. Gonna guess these rats will actually kill me. Is that what those are? Okay. Or the, not kill me, but attack me. Don't you even think about a rat? Yeah, he is running up there. <laughs> He's like, "There's a beast up here, boys." Easy pickings. Okay, I'm gonna bring you with me. At least pull you away from the rats. Okay, what was that last one we got? Man. I really wish that would have went better. Uh, drinking from fountain recharges a small amount. Drinking from faucet restores a small amount. What's the difference? I mean, one says fountain, one says faucet. Oh, one restores health, one restores mana. Okay. Okay, I see what they're doing there. All right, did we get... There's another bone charm over there, but the bone charms aren't going to do me a whole lot of good at this point, I don't think. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to talk to this guy or if I'm supposed to attack him. Eliminate the overseer. Eliminate the four remaining... Oh. Okay. So I need to try to get behind this guy. And... Choke him out. Man, does that mean I need to... Oh, look, he came up here. And his back is turned. Can I by some chance... Oh, no, he's, he's just still over here. Okay. He's not turning. Can I? Oh, come on. Got him. I don't know, that counts. Overseer Pike, I've taken the Commerce Building. A temporary headquarters has been set up in a nearby structure. My men are dealing with a number of captives. That should prove to be very informative. We have achieved a total victory here. Catching the enemy by surprise. The plans for a larger coordinated assault were obviously unnecessary. I am confident that Dowd will show himself and will be in our custody shortly. Yeah. Target neutralized. Thank goodness. You know, at least they made it obvious. Okay. Mm. Acquire the assault plans from the headquarters. Okay, so things have changed there a little bit. Are the assault... Pl oh, there we go. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Dowd's log. Yeah, we've read that. So we're looking for the assault plans now, which I guess... Oh, these are new. Or at least they didn't seem... Billy Lurk? Billy Lurk watches me closely, studying my decisions, each move I make. That's nothing new. Even as a kid, there was a quiet curiosity there. Though curiosity is not quite the right word. But lately it seems more intense. I'll feel the hairs on my neck standing up, only realizing a moment later that Lurk is on a roof or balcony nearby. Some mornings, some of my papers seem to be moved, maybe poured over. When we're alone and Billy's comfortable with the mask off, questions come from odd angles unrelated to our mission or to a specific target. Questions about what I'm thinking, about my attitude towards the target. Something to watch, another puzzle. Every one of my whalers is good, though my gifts seem stronger in some than in others. The outsider's mark is a mystery in this way, not something I can control. Those who remain with me either gain in the use of my extraordinary abilities or they don't. Those who don't, I just push towards the blade, the crossbow, or the study of poisons. Everyone among them serve in some way. And together, we've spilled a sea of blood. Lurk is a quieter study than most, but stays aloof from the others. It's no matter to me, as long as orders get carried out. That is super interesting. Okay, uh... Okay, so this might be information he's learned about Delilah so far. Delilah Cooperspoon. Who is she, and why is everyone afraid of her? 
strange that a painter should have so much influence or that she should have any connection to my life and what I've done. My fate is my own, always has been. The problem is, is I don't know enough. There are missing pieces. I can't imagine how or why Delilah is linked to the death of the Empress. That's kind of my big question, too. It's like this character that apparently is a big deal. We knew we heard nothing of her at all. No hints or anything through all the first game. I kind of feel like if she was a big deal, we would have found a book or a note or seen little hints of something. And maybe we did. We just don't know it's Delilah yet. I'm real curious to see how this continues to connect. But the outsider wouldn't bother saying it unless it contained some grain of truth. Now it's driving me mad, like a puzzle I can't get out of my head. A riddle in pigment and blood. No doubt that black-eyed punk takes delight in watching me twist into knots. He knows I can't abide a mystery. Billy has little insight to offer. None of the usual, none of the usual vitriol when I bring up the name Delilah. Just a shrug. Just tell me how you want this handled. It's odd behavior for Lurk. If I find this Delilah and cut her throat, maybe I can dodge what's coming. The consequences the outsider spoke of, or maybe ending her life will bring the entire city down on my head. When I face her, will I see the eyes of the Empress? Can I go through with it, even if it's the only way to save my own skin? Somehow I suspect there's more to Delilah than portraits and sculptures. I'll find out more when I talk to the Tempsch family. Yep, well, we've talked to them now. We've literally talked to a... <laughs> A sculpture of her too. Okay, what else we got? Yay! I'm glad we got some more of those. Okay. Is there anything else I need to address here? Man, I'm still kind of bummed that the um, the shot grenades did not work as I had hoped on that one. The whalers. I'm I'm pretty sure we've read that one. Okay, well, let's um, start working our way out. I know it took out a handful of those guys just with darts through the window. So hopefully that's going to save us at least some headache. Whoa. Oh my goodness, I still crack up at that jump. That seems like such a ridiculously big jump to me. All right, I think I saw there was a window... I could go out over here. What are you? Technology in the new age. Yep, I think we're good there. There's a dark guy. I don't know. Do I got send left? Oh, how'd I miss? Hey, that was the last one. Well, that's good to know. Oh, no. Can't carry any more ammo. Sustained rage. Your adrenaline takes slightly longer to cool down. Oh, I think that's a an attribute that I never I never used it in the first one. I have two runes. I don't really have anything I I could get this, but again, I I don't think it's really gonna matter too much at this point. I'm gonna I'm just gonna hang on to it for now. What is that shape there? Got him. We got a prowler on the loose. Yeah, you do. Is that window? Yeah, that window's still open. This is where I'm putting the bodies. Oh, along with some other goodies. Abandoned journal. I managed to make a space for myself here. Thankfully, Red Shore is all but completely abandoned. Up in this room, I'm protected from the occasional scavenger and the flooding during heavy rain. I'd like to return to my office in the Commerce Building to see if I can find some of my old books, but I've yet to build up the courage. Eventually, I'll run out of canned meat, and then I'll have no choice. No need for courage when desperation kicks in. That's true. Anything back here? Oh my goodness! There's another... Man. I don't know if I could get them... without getting him killed or her I mean I don't I don't know which one that is I got three darts okay here we go you 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 oh come on I know you're here 
Where do you stand clear? Here you are. Wait, what? How are you alive? I I hit you with a dart. I was so robbed. These guys are annoying. They really are. Extremely annoying. Free. Eliminate the last two. Okay. I thought it said that was there was only one left when I got that one. That makes a lot of sense, right? Pump system report. Log entry. Standing water, not more than ankle deep. Something must be backing the drains. Log entry. Drainage was cleared and the standing water isn't an issue any longer. Note, pump system may be inefficient for high volume situations. Next entry. Waste high water. Drainage problems again. The accountants are going to have to swim to work if something isn't done about the pump system. Log. Last day in Rudshore. My new post starts tomorrow. I've restated my concerns about the pumps. I suggest my replacement check the valve pressures and system mechanical integrity immediately. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, there's the plans I need to get to. Um, let's pick you guys up. So those rats over there. Maybe don't get you. I like how he like picks up the gun and stuff too when you pick up the character. Leave no evidence. Okay. Man, I really feel like I was robbed on that situation. I had three darts. First one hit the uh, the music guy. And he staggered. He looked like he was in the process of going down. Then I shot at the other two. <sighs> I don't know if I'm just getting in a hurry or, or what. I don't know what's going on there, but I feel like I'm getting ripped off. The estate district. I think we read this one in the uh, in the first one. Okay, I see you down there. I know you're here somewhere, Scott. Where the restless hand shall be raised against okay. the Okay, he got away. <laughs> he got away. Oh, there's somebody over there. Come on, turn around for me. Takes care of you. Man, there's so many of my my team that is... Oh no, they're coming up. I was going to try to grab that loot real fast. Dang it. I'll have to get on the next go. Because I didn't know there might be some more sleep darts right there. It would be nice if I could get a couple of sleep darts. Hit this guy in the back. Oh, it's all choke dust. That's still good too, I guess. Alright. There goes another one. Now, is there only the one singer? Or singer. <laughs> Musician. <laughs> ah. He looked her way at the wrong time. I'm gonna free you before something goes wrong. I see you. I'll await your signal. You got it. Whoop. Die. Oh. oh. <laughs> there. I put him to sleep because I was. Oh my goodness! Look at those people running off. That was pretty cool. I was going to let it keep going, but I was worried. He did kill him. Oh! I don't see how I'm going to have low chaos in this one. I really don't. Oh! Oh! Yeah, you're going to need more men, all right. You ain't coming out this window. I know you guys are stopping right there. What? You can't see me. What are you shooting at? Shout if you see him. What lost him? We know you're here. Mm hmm I know you're here. Yeah. 
guys, his music just died. Oh! You killed your buddy. This is just absolute disarray. <laughs> Look, no line of sight whatsoever. This guy is still shooting at me. I'd like to hear how he explains that. Okay. At least now I can see. Give yourself up. Come out. Oh, come on. From your he just suddenly turned around for no reason. Can I go? Oh, you know what? I think I can go out this way. That'll give me a different angle to go with. Can I get all the way across? <laughs> Look at that jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang it. I can't use any of that. Okay. I think... Was that the last? No, I just need to get the plans. Okay. I got one chump. Still marching around out here. Let's not be restless. Reveal yourself. Here you are. Yikes. Where are you? Yep. See you later. I'll deal with you here in a minute. They were given oh, there is still somebody over here. On the white cliff itself. <laughs> I I don't see me having low chaos on this one. The only thing I got going for me that's kind of, I think, a big deal in a good way is the fact that I neutralized the main guy without causing issues. That's that's the only thing I could see maybe still granting me a low chaos in this situation. Oh, got one of your sleep darts. Okay. Uh... I think I hear another voice other than th this guy. There's still someone else down here? Thought I was hearing something. Okay. Jump! Oh, baby. Here we go. I took them all out. Uh, aha! That's noise. Seven stretches. <laughs> you got it up there, marked it out. Oh my goodness, we got all kinds of books in here. The four stretch. Oh, these are all the different stretches. What is that? Oh, that's the plan, isn't it? How do I, how do I get the plan? So we got boats landing here, all the way through. Where? Okay, let's read this. Oh, you know what? Uh, the Abbey of the Everman. We've read that one. Okay. I was thinking maybe one of these things will give us a. Uh, but the map, the first structure, restrict the wandering gaze. Yep, I remember reading that one. Okay, so maybe we did read these. Yeah, that's where it's talking about, you know, the seven sins, basically. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Here we go. So we got the commerce building. Greaves oil. Red Shore Gate. Suspected occultist lair. Hmm. Uh, I guess what I'm kind of confused by I don't see the flow <laughs> of what's going on here you see the boats docked here and it looks like they come in to here but what's what's this got to do I don't know this map shows a coordinated sweep of the flooded district but the overseers here didn't stick to the plan Someone must have tipped them off. Hmm. They didn't stick to the plan. Okay. I remember 
order the counterattack. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I remember them saying something about, we'll wait for your order. There must be something we're going to do still. With my team. Get the word, sir. What's our next move? Capture the... Uh, yeah, let's capture. Capture as many as you can. Their plans are ruined. <laughs> Man. Do we get to watch them, like, do all of this? I hope so. Oh, that's our... I was like... Oh, were there none to get? <laughs> We'll take the Overseer who led the attack and find out what else he knows. As soon as he's conscious. It seems the Overseers are marching into the flooded district, planning a massive assault against us. This Overseer, Hume, went against orders and attacked early. As for his men, they're ruined. If there were any survivors, they fled with their tails between their legs. How did the cursed Overseers find us? It's my fault. I told Delilah where we were hidden. She wanted me to turn on you. You did this. But I can't go through with it. Stupid child. All you had to do was cut his throat. He deserves better. I was an idiot to listen to you. So that's your choice then, Dowd. Her betrayal would have been the sweetest. But either way, the Brigmore witches will be your end. You should have forgotten my name the day you heard it. I think it was always understood between us that I'd see my moment and take your place. I moved too early. You weren't weak, like I thought. I'm only sorry I didn't pick a better ally. Delilah made contact with the Overseers. I thought, between the three of us, we'd have you dead to rights. Oh my we goodness. Blame the zealots for that. Overseer Hume was too quick to move. My life is yours now. Kill me or let me live. If it even matters to you. Touching and pathetic. If I see either of you again, I'll tear out your stone cold hearts and walk in your skin. Oh my god. Uh, spare for sure. I thought for sure Delilah was going to come down here and kill her in front of us, but no, we're sparing. I forgive you. Get out of here. Leave the city. Leave my sight, Billy. I give you your life. Okay. When Billy Lurk was eight, she wanted to be the captain of a ship. From the moment she met you, all she wanted was to be a killer. She watched you, learned from you, and then she saw you losing your grip and decided to take your place. Oh. And now, she's limping to the outskirts of the city. She'll pay a smuggler to get past quarantine. She'll watch herself for signs of plague for a while. Gradually, the fear and grief that seep into your bones in Dunwall will dissipate, and she'll find a new name and a new use for her skills. Even if Dunwall burns to the ground, one corner of the Empire will still know your story. Dowd, killer of an empress. Dowd, who spared his betrayer's life. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> low chaos that absolutely did not feel like low chaos but I found all the runes and the charms that's nice hmm yeah that does seem really weird it's like here Dowd went and killed an empress that meant nothing but good for this city and yet I spare the person that actually tried to get me killed and betray me among like my whole crew here wow well we actually got to see delilah okay let's see what's next oh is this oh <laughs> there it is 
Wow, as DLC goes, man, that was fantastic. Really well done. Story was good. The Outsider's voice, all the story bits that he gave in there was fantastic. That place there where we were like going through the, the whaling place, it really helped kind of put perspective on uh, the whale side of this whole society and what they got going on made it seem even more brutal than what we were reading about in the books because then what we read about in the books we actually got to like see it taking place which is really wild so billy lurk has moved on i don't know maybe she pops back in in one of the later games since i spared her delilah though we're not done with her. In fact, I think I saw the title for the next one is like the, the Brigmore Witches or something like that, which I think is who she's a part of. So maybe in the next DLC, we're still playing as Dowd and we have more encounters with Delilah. Even though she said, if I see you, if I see either of you, I'm going to kill you. Now, the outsider did say that Dowd's life is coming to a close, which would which probably means this is inevitable. I got a feeling Dowd's gonna die before the end of DLC 2. Now, interesting enough, I had somebody mention to me that in Dishonored 2, at the beginning of the game, you get to choose to be either Corvo or Emily. So obviously there'll be a bit of a time gap between the first one and the second one. If Emily's grown up, <laughs> unless you walk around you run around as like a, a kid assassin, which would be kind of humorous, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Now, my guess is there's been time passed, and someone, uh, the person who would tell me about this also mentioned that playing as Emily makes more sense story-wise. So in Dishonored 2, I plan on playing as Emily when that choice comes up, just so you know. If there's some reason why I should play as the other, be sure to let me know in the comments here because I'm sure I will have heard or read your comments before I've gotten to Dishonored 2. But my plan is to go right into the next DLC on this. And uh, we'll just roll. We'll just keep rolling with the Dishonored. And my plan is to go as low chaos as possible through all this. I am mind boggled that I actually got low chaos in that last section. Now, you'll have to let me know also, is there a different ending here as well if I was going the high chaos route? I don't know if that's something that only applies to... You know, from a story standpoint, I don't know if that only applies to the the big games, you know, Dishonored 1 and Dishonored 2, or if there are different stories that go with the DLCs. I'd be curious to know that. So, loved it. Absolutely loved it. The way this DLC started, where we were, like, following in, in Dowd's shoes and seeing how the assassination of the Empress and the kidnapping of Emily took place, that was such a cool moment. Absolutely loved it. I think it was kind of weird how they gave us um, all these runes and a huge list of things to choose from, but it's kind of a short game. Even though I found them all, it's not like I could really upgrade a whole lot. But that's okay. I, I, the fact that they give you a little variety of things that you can get, and basically what you're going to do is you're probably going to pick what you enjoyed most from the first playthrough. And I have a feeling that's what's going to happen with DLC 2 also. Uh, if there was only one complaint that I have for this DLC, and I don't know if the next one will be like this as well, I feel like the it was definitely much more dense with enemies. Not necessarily a bad thing, but I feel like they had like superhuman sight in sense sometimes. People spotting me from clear across the field or... Uh, at one point, I remember my head was just poking up out of the water and somebody spotted me from all the way across this huge gap and all that was sticking up was my head. There were some times when I was completely out of sight, but yet they, they knew where I was at and would react. You know, that one guy that was shooting at me, even though there was no line of sight of me whatsoever. So I feel like, I, I don't know why that was like that in this one. I don't remember that being like that in Dishonored 1. I don't know what they would have changed. But I feel like the, the AI was a little more finicky in this one. And But like I said, the difficulty, I didn't mind. Uh, it, it took me a little getting used to it at the beginning because we all know where this DLC started. <laughs> it's complete chaos for quite a while. Um, 
I did a lot better job also of finding all the runes and stuff. There was only the one shrine though, right? For some reason, I'm thinking I only found one shrine. So we got a little more information on the outsider, but not a whole lot. In fact, I think he talked more about me than he did himself in that scenario. I was really kind of hoping we'd find uh, something more out about Granny too. Like we were pulling those recipe ingredients for her. I was hoping there was going to be a spot where we would find out that the ingredients that we were giving her were actually the ingredients that she used in her little uh, Corvo experience. I'm assuming that's what that was used for, but I wanted it to just come right out and say it at some point. I thought that would have been really fun. He, uh, Dowd would have been uh, helping, you know, capture or hurt Corvo yet again, and this time he was completely oblivious to it, which I thought would have been kind of a fun play on, on things. Wow. I did love the DLC. It was a great time. I'm excited to get right into the second one. And, uh, Whew, and then I've heard Dishonored 2. I've heard it's really good. I've heard it's really good. I was so excited to get into Dishonored 2. And I think I, th I heard there was like a four or five year gap between the first one and the second one. So there are some small graphical type updates, uh, but it's just a really good game. Let's see if anything happens here at the end. Nope, that's it. All right, so that's the end of this playthrough. Like I said, we'll be rolling right into the let's see can i go back to main menu yes missions downloadable all right the bridgemore witches and i'm assuming that is delilah right there so assuming that this dlc is as long as the first one we're probably looking at four or five episodes to go all the way through it and i'm excited for that until next time continue to be safe out there buddy i'll see you on that next one <laughs>